Hello, um, it's a close to a good afternoon here from me, Redwan in Malaysia. I'm about to show you the best software in the world for heavy ERP um, used in conjunction with other open source software such as Apache ActiveMQ and um, the Uniset uh, point of sales. And together it can build a very powerful network of data a uh, control and monitoring of business. Uh, in this case, it will be a franchise of point of sales over remote areas with a headquartered uh, ERP system. Now we're going to start from really scratch here. We have a Excel table, or in my case, I'm using um, numbers of Mac. And you can have a master table, just in this case, where you have product names, the union measure, the selling price, the purchase price. And when you're starting, well, you have not yet the charge of stock quantity. You can do that later and you have a particular vendor. You have a real order quantity, time to deliver, and where's the location of your branch and so forth. And you have the uh, categories. Now, the whole idea of using multi-sheet uh, Excel numbers is that you can, they, they will have a formula, you can see here, table one, name food, uh, which refers to, to this, and here is a B3, and so forth. So let's say we want to add a new item it will be translated across to all these reference tables so that you need not do a lot of keying in. And this is my recommended way of how you could um, get this data eventually into your ERP, in this case, Idempia. Let's put um, chocolate. And um, so this can be your master, or, or actually the best way is just to Put on, and you can put a selling price for per kilogram. Let's say it's quite expensive, twenty-two, and a purchase price of uh, fifteen. And you want to get it from the same supplier just for your argument's sake. And let's make this the same. So what you see is that under product, you can. Pull this down, and you will see you have chocolate there. So everything can be easily manipulated using Excel. You are, and these are normalized identity ERP data, and uh, this is a bill of material. So for lunch, your spaghetti and coffee latte. And, spag and sp spaghetti itself has flour, salt, chili, veg, meat uh, under this combination of uh, child quantity and uh, coffee latte, sugar, and coffee beans. And then you have the vendor where you're going to order it from. So we would like to include chocolate there. So you can see they are easily uh, extrapolated. So after that, all you have to do is just to export to CSV. Click next, you save it under a folder and get it there. Then go to your folder. You see they are all here. However, there's some uh, pesky thing, which is uh, there's a suffix of uh, Table one, so just get that out of the way, and then we zip up and go to the magic plugin of item beer where they can all be imported directly into the ERP and send them to the point of sale. And then we are ready to begin our business for the restaurant. And you will see that even replenishing will automatically be done without you having to move a finger further. So preparing all this master data 
Four and ERP will make your point of sale not needing to have all the power that it needs. It can just be a dump terminal. Just capture sales. That's it. And let the ERP do all the heavy lifting. So now we have got this in an archive and we have got item peer running. This is a blank item peer. So let's uh, get the Red One Ninja module designer up. Attach that zip. Create an instance, let's say uh, product migration. Have a blank sub instance. Just attach the archive where you just compress it. And uh, wait for it to call up. So this archive, I will upload it, check my link in the forum and so that you can really use it and I'll expand it to include sort of business partners and other information so that migration is really no longer a pain because you can use your master data and allow this to fully translate and you see everything is working there, uh, you have a little bit of a thing to do which is the product new product categories needs to have his category account and I've prepared and you'll see that drinks food is there just a bit more and once the accounts is in you will have all the posting into your financials automatically done so now let's uh, send some details of your new uh, product information over to your point of sale, which is basically quite empty. And you can leave the blank product category. This is where your drinks, just send the drinks and food and you need not have the ingredients. So price list should be standard, send it over is done and you can see in the apache active mq another open source project and this is the only thing that is exposed to the internet both the erp and this point of sale is hidden and not accessible from the internet so this is perfect security best security is no security all right so you see these products are not in here so this is a dumb pause you don't have to set it up just go to your maintenance Pause synchronization, wait a few seconds, and the information to products and six customers is in. You will see that they are here. So you can order drinks if you like. Let's have a Tay Tarek. Uh, we like food, so um, go back to the here. Once all your other point of service is taken, this now you can remove all of them. Because you're now going to send fresh information over. So you see how much, how little dingling, I um, mean, dabbling in the complexity of this um, ERP is needed. You just work with your Excel, the family one, familiar with most of administrative staff, and then just use the tools they've created. And now, if you were to go there, there will be a string containing the five products and get back to the point of sale, go to the maintenance, post synchronization again, and products will be in. So there's no setting up whatsoever on the point of sale side. This is completely a hands-off, fully facilitated ERP. Could not get easier than this. This comes from many years of experience of working with all this stuff. So let's get back to the sales. And you see there's food there. Let's have a round set, shall we? There comes everything dollars and let's assign this to a customer. Okay, on. And do a payment. Remember this is a bill of material. I'll show you in a while because under here you can see that 
the launch site is mega speculative speculating of these things and now the point of sale will automatically send this order back you need not do a order synchronization because of the improvement done by Adieu Eduardo and Angelala of Venezuela who is in Ecuador uh, so you can see is automatically sent every minute watch my other videos how all this is set up so once this sent come to the queue you see all this is there come to the item pier and now bring in the orders import queue orders set up pointing to your IP and that's it this is the ring URL it will now talk to the post office which is the only thing exposed on the internet and after that is done you see that the orders is uh, consumed let's refresh it you can see zero rise that means it has gone in two lines have gone in and if you will open up your sales order together with the bill of material to raw material translation it will automatically um, do something which is to now translate it into his um, bill of material uh, uh, information all right let me clear off a lot of uh, redundant is not needed <clears throat> okay just shortly so that you can see all the information that is there all right now you can have it more clearly this too has been pulled off through the um, message queue directly from the point of sale so you can see that this point of sale can be anywhere in the world it need not be online it just go online to get the information from the queue and your ERP likewise is also not online not accessible online and here he has done a sale of two items and the magic now working with another plugin that I've created it will now explode this into this uh, full ingredients take a few seconds for it to now get its children and here you are you have a complete uh, connection of your point of sale throughout your franchise network on how much they are actually spending or consuming in terms of material rather than just a item so cut off a lot of redundant work here now you know actually what's been spent and the magic final magic i'm going to show you is when you do a replenishment report the rules of the replenishment has already been set uh, here where you have level minimum maximum and um, what the items that you want to control is reorder quantity so when you do a replenishment report all this will be easily taken care of and you will have purchase order generated to this vendor in this case here you are takes really quickly so you see i completely set up this erp and point of sale from scratch all i need is um this master data which all your accountants or staff works in so you cut off a lot of complexity and technical jargon and have everything really ready to roll out so this is me here red one as the founding leader of Adempier and the community leader of Adempier with a wonderful community of great like colors Louise Hing Sing and here like you making this really the best software in the world so i wish you a nice day and enjoy bye